And the final hour is about to begin. This is the gear. I'm up here so people don't see I'm potentially adding to their snipe list, even though I'm definitely already on it. We've got ourselves a Fury, a Rage Iron Bracelet, the Zuriel Staff. We went and got ourselves a Crystal Shield. No DFS this time, unfortunately. Imbued Cape. We have the VLS. We have the Cow's Top, the Varex Plate Skirt. We have a Darex Plate Buddy in case we go up against any Rag Rangers. We also have Javelins for something I'm planning. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it, but we're just going to bring it anyway. Very kitted out. We have max stats. We max it all out. 99 everything. 70 prayer. We're going with a clan. Hopefully we can make the 1v1s and hopefully we can do well. I have a feeling I'm going to get sniped out before then, but I will try my best. So my final area was Falador, and as you can see, me and my team pushed right from the beginning. Usually people wait uh, for so long to like wait until the fog starts hitting them to run into the center. This time we actually decided to take the center and let people come to us and we start attacking them. And this was only when was, there was around 800 people left. So we all took Falador and no other clan hit us just yet, and we managed to control the center of Falador. Now, the, when there were 770 people left, the team to the northwest, which was basically the fight of followers between two uh, different alliances, the alliance I was in and the alliance of Fools, Weed Blazers, OT, and DL. So it was basically a 1v1 like alliance situation. So they rushed in from the northwest and we started fighting right away. 400 people left, we still had a good group of people at Falador, more than enough, but this is when people started sniping me. People, obviously, I've been PKing throughout the whole week, I've come second in a tournament before, and people know I have max gear, and as you can see, I got caught behind there a little bit, and people who weren't even with the main fools group were sniping me, trying to kill me, and that's when my supply started getting drained quite a bit, and numbers started dropping. 390 people left just look how many hit spots i'm individually taking and how many brews and supplies i'm using it's basically i have to be able to out eat and out barrage and just keep myself alive until the final people get killed and it gets us to a 1v1 so i have there's a clock ticking basically on how long i can stay alive and it is running out quickly Pretty much completely out of food, still being sniped everywhere I go. I'm just being camped around. I really can't call piles on these people either because like they're so well hidden inside of us. It'd just be too chaotic to do. We have to focus on the main group. My team was absolutely destroying the other team, but me as an individual was just getting focused because I guess they thought I was that much of a threat. So eventually I was out of bruise. I just had to cut my losses. My only option here was to honestly just blood barrage in the middle of me and try and out heal the damage I was taking from like eight different people who were just camping me the whole time. And honestly, it was going pretty well. I was doing an okay job at it. I was just I was just spam clicking blood barrage and I was keeping my HP high for quite a while as the numbers kept dropping. You can see the top right, they were dropping and they were dropping quick. And uh it was a top two it was a top one, two, eight from each group. And as you can see, Falador was getting pretty pretty cleared up on the minimap. It's pretty much all purple dots. Fools and the other like uh fools in their alliance were pretty much getting cleared. And it was all my team. But as these people in the center started dropping, I had less people to blood barrage on and my health was not getting healed up as much, and I was completely out of food, relying on PNX, some of them was breaking, and I was just, there was nothing I could really do, I just had to keep blood barraging, I was still getting camped by the same people, they, they had to make sure I was dead, they had to make sure I couldn't get into 1v1s, and there I drop, and as you can see, as I die, everybody else gets teleported in. Here's a slow motion replay, that means I was literally the last person to die to make it into the 1v1s, I was tanking the camp so hard, but... There's really nothing I could do. I, had, I was completely out of bruise. I was being camped the whole time. And unfortunately, I did not get to make it into the 1v1s and get to prove myself again. I'm very sorry to everyone who's watched the videos and has expected me to do far. Hopefully, I provided some very good PK content for you guys. That's why I always PK every tournament because stuff like that can happen. People will just camp the shit out of me and there's nothing I can do about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed all the videos this DMM. I will be making some seasonal videos. Please leave a like if you guys have enjoyed the this Deadman tournament, and I will see you guys later. Make sure you subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching.